Hello. I have received a number of communications from Antioch students and other people affiliated with Antioch since I began posting these videos. And one that I received last week was particularly disturbing to me. <clears throat> I asked the sender if it was okay to share it here. And after removing a couple of potentially identifying details, they have given me permission. So I am going to read this out. This was a, an email that I got through my website. Hello, I wasn't sure where to contact you in regard to this, so I'm doing it here. My partner is on the marketing team at Antioch University. You should know there is a drastic effort by the marketing team to silence, discredit, and discount you. I'm a firm believer in what you've been posting on YouTube and that the left has taken over the university as a whole. I personally believe that it should remain in the center and not straying left or right. One lady, we will call her M, has been illegally downloading the YouTube videos, I think in an attempt to create content to demonize you. I just think you should know. You get brought up in almost every single meeting, and today I had enough of it. I'd like to help you and your message in any way I can. So thank you again to the person who sent this. Appreciate you communicating this to me. I find it disquieting and somewhat threatening to have the school spending time talking about how to make me look bad. And um, as if calling me a white supremacist wasn't enough already. But honestly, this issue, it's not about me. So, you know, have fun looking into me and trying to find ways to smear me. But this, if you read the comments under these videos, this isn't some thing about my personality or my uh, credibility to people. This is, I'm showing you the information as I'm receiving it from the school. I'm showing, I've been demonstrating the way that the school is teaching students through sharing the school's own materials and, and demonstrating bias through, by showing you the, the emails that I've received from the school directly. So it's not really about my opinions. Most of what I've been presenting here just allows the materials to speak for themselves and allows the viewer to make their own judgments about what they're seeing. And people are very concerned. You can see this when you when you look through the comments on these videos. This is bigger than me. It's bigger than Antioch University. This is about ideological capture of our educational system and the potential impacts that that will have and has for the students encountering this material and for the fields into which those students are being trained. Specifically here, we're talking about counselor education, but this applies to all fields in which this is becoming a factor and, and it seems to be almost across the board. So um, this is, while this is disturbing, the thing that's perhaps, I guess most, I don't know, I don't wanna say surprising because it's not really surprising, but I guess most telling is that instead of crafting an intelligent and thoughtful response that integrates the criticism that the university is receiving and recognizes that perhaps there are some legitimate concerns around their ideological bias, the school would rather focus on an ad hominem attack to silence the, the person who's, to, you know, to basically kill the messenger here. And um, that is in keeping with a lot of the other actions that I've been criticizing at this university. This could be an opportunity for the school to do some reflection and realize that they have seriously damaged their reputation as a legitimate academic, academic institution and as a place of higher learning and knowledge and intellectual growth, this looks really bad for Antioch. And um, well, thank you for listening. I'm just gonna go ahead and keep this short and put this out there. Thank you very much.